But if I told you Leo DiCaprio's most impressive feat wasn't fighting off a bear or sneaking onto a boat to get some rich girl buns. Leo's been dominating Hollywood since the 90s and in that same time lived by one strict rule. Let's break down this borderline creepy trend. Before she was the queen of Tampa Bay, Giselle dated Leo from 18 to 23. Leo eventually dropped her, but Giselle goat hopped from Leo to TB12. Impressive. LD moved on to Israeli model bar Rafeli from when she was 20 to 25. Then said catch me if you can as he sprinted out the door and onto the next one. 23 year old Blake Lively briefly before she married Deadpool. 22 year old Aaron Heatherton. 21 year old Tony Garn. 25 year old Kelly Rohrbach. 24 year old Nina Agdahl. And most recently Camilla Marone who was born the year Titanic came out. And just got cut from the roster 3 months after her 25th birthday. Meaning his next girl will probably have been born in the 2000s. And hopefully too young to have heard his shitty accent in Blood Diamond. There will be a day when this becomes more gross than impressive, but until that day, the Wolf of Wall Street is a fucking dog.